Hello Twin Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy check. Today I'm doing a special edition reading. This is for the full moon in Pisces that we're going to be experiencing tomorrow or for some of you the day after tomorrow on the 30th or 31st of August, depending on where you are in the world. That's going to be the peak of the energy. But as always, there is a bit of a shadow uh, period before and after uh, the peak. So we're actually already in that full moon energy and we will stay there uh, pretty much till end of this week. So let's see how it's impacting the twin flames, uh, what is happening in the connection at this time and let's get some guidance. All right, so I will get the guidance with Beyond Lemuria deck. So I'll actually take it last. I will start with the Terror. Oh, and we have the Self-Compassion deck. So this stays and I will pull a card um, with one of the practices at the end of the reading. All right, and also, of course, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you like what I'm doing, it helps me circulate this content with more people. For those who had questions about the website, it's back on. Uh, so yes, please uh, visit it. There are uh, additional services and products, online products that I have on there. You can also book a personal reading with me through the website mindfulbamboo.com. And I also have a separate channel with the same name, Mindful Bamboo. Uh, there's a handle uh, in the description box and that's where I post my monthly horoscopes for each of the zodiac signs. And since we are at the end of the month, this means that very, very soon I'll start posting uh, my readings for the month of September. So watch out for that or better subscribe not to miss when the reading for your sign gets posted. All right, so let's get started. Um, I picked the Dreamkeeper's Tarot, of course. Oh, and did you notice I got my uh, moon lamp to work again, which means I actually found the charger for it. Yeah, that was one of the mysteries of my um, last move to this address that I didn't have the I couldn't find the charge and it's a special one um like it, it's pretty unique so it had to be that specific one so yes i finally finally found it i charged it and our moon is back in place for the full moon reading <laughs> let's see first of all we are going to check what the impact general impact is for each of the twins i'll be pulling cards from here and also some clarifiers from the light seers so another shuffle and I'll just do a spread today. So we'll get a card for Divine Feminines, a card for Divine Masculines here. And then the next one is going to be um, what is changing with regards to, first is the general energy, the second, what is changing with regards to seeing this connection and acting upon it. So another one card each. Okay, and uh, the advice will be with Lemuria deck, yes. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck very interesting that it has a moon as the head it's a new moon but uh king of cups is actually um one of those masculine figures in tarot that is connected to the feminine energy and the moon is the feminine energy uh so it's like especially in this deck the king is also holding uh the cup by his heart so to me this immediately calls out to the fact that this king is listening to their feelings and emotions, to what's going on with their heart, and they're not necessarily ready to act on it, but they pay attention. And that's the general vibe of this of this time, especially since it's a full moon in Pisces, and Pisces is known for uh, getting our attention towards other realms, towards uh, connection with our ancestors and with any anyone and any uh, consciousness that is, uh, you know, existing beyond this world, let's put it that way. It also includes dreamland, so pay attention to your dreams this week. If you don't have a dream journal, maybe at least jot down, uh, have, have a piece of paper and pen next to your bed so you can, when you wake up, you can jot it down before you forget, and you forget pretty quickly, especially if you get uh, woken up by either an alarm clock or someone or something wakes you up in the middle of that cycle you know that's when you forget within seconds so it's important to kind of stay on it and write it down 
Of course, if it's your natural end of the cycle, then sometimes we can even uh, continue that dream journey after we wake up, uh, kind of like in between. <laughs> it becomes like a lucid dream. But we're like, oh, no, 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 I want to see what happens next. <laughs> yeah, whatever comes up, write it down. Also, it's a great time to connect with the two ancestors. And um, especially if you're a more um, practical person or somebody who is uh, day in, day out, more guided by uh, logic and adherence to schedule, this can be a good time because the opposite of the Pisces sign is Virgo. Which makes sense, of course, because the sun is in Virgo right now. Um, so yeah, this allows us to, or this gives us a great chance to explore uh, a new type of reality. Where it's more about, you know, you dream your reality, right? You kind of, you go to the ethers, you get information from them, then you can create it in 3D. Uh, you can uh, access anybody else right this is telepathic connections is connecting to people across distances and across realms if you especially if you have somebody specific in mind so you may be feeling more intense telepathic connection to a twin at this time anyways let me get the clarifiers for our cards and we'll get started bottom of the deck here the death and rebirth yeah so Transformational energies, especially since um, we are in this month of September, we're going to be getting, as we're getting out of the retrogrades, uh, we will be seeing lots of transformational energy uh, within your personal space, meaning um, who is around you, your day-to-day uh, -day routine, your lifestyle, how you see your relationships with others and how you want to take them forward, right? There's going to be a lot of, I'm hearing also unexpected changes in those realities. And this is actually a major arcana. So, you know, it may not necessarily be up to you that things have changed, especially if you've been avoiding the change for a while. You may find yourself in a space where something just goes away, hence the death card, kind of like, it's dead, it's over. You can't go back to it anymore, right? You're forced to find a new way to create new habits, to create new connections. Because the previous uh, status quo stuff was not is not there anymore. It's just, you can't. And by the way, underneath this card is the Ace of Pentacles and underneath that one is Four of Wands. And underneath that one is the Lovers. Oh my God, oh my God. So there's a lot, of, a lot of good stuff on the other side of this transformation. As much as it may look and feel scary, and the Pisces energy can be a bit overwhelming in terms of how much you can start to sense and feel your extrasensory uh, giftings may be enhanced at this time. So you may be hearing certain messages um, that you're not used to or you're not sure what to do with that information. You know, it can be kind of... Uh, intimidating right but the more you're kind of relaxing into it and staying with the flow the more beautiful and, and uh, productive this time is going to be so anyways for divine feminines we have five of swords clarified by the fool yeah that's exactly what I was talking about the surrender card right and it's interesting because in this five of swords um, this woman well actually it's more like a monster yeah like a sea monster here <laughs> but yeah any kind of illusion can be broken down any kind of visible threat can be uh dealt with oftentimes by taking a different look or trusting that it's something necessary it's something useful it's something that it may look ugly but at the end of the day it will be a blessing in disguise right so something like that is coming up for you so don't be too harsh or too quick to judge it to resist it, to try to fight it, right? Kind of look at it from different sides and see what is it really about. Whether it's about relationships or something that comes up for you in terms of, I don't know, your job or your hobbies or your lifestyle or any kind of 3D, you know, circumstances or events. For the masculines, we have Nine of Pentacles clarified by Three of Pentacles. It's very interesting because this is a single hood card and this is a uh, teamwork card. <laughs> I 
So what, what this is saying to me immediately is that um, being your own boss or being an independent person doesn't necessarily mean that you always uh, do everything by yourself, right? You can still have that individual take on things or have a say in things, even when you are part of the team. So don't think that you, if you are collaborating with somebody, whether it's just one person, i.e. relationship or twin flame connection, or it's uh, several people, you know, maybe it's, a, I don't know, completing a project. It doesn't necessarily take anything from you, from your individual vibe, your opinion, your uh, identity, you know? Your identity, your individuality is what's going to make this project beautiful and the result of it whether it's in your personal or professional life. Just keep that in mind. And there will be opportunities for collaboration coming up pretty soon or communication with someone, you know, finding compromise. Working together may not necessarily be work per se, right? It may be about how do we build from here, right? So it's important to be open-minded with that. There is a bit of a synchronicity there with what we saw for the feminine, you know, that surrender energy that's what the moon is asking us to do because that's the best way to see those things that you may have missed otherwise right that's what the moonlight is shining on okay how is this impacting the connection and the feelings towards the connection the moon <laughs> clarified by four of cups so feminines will most likely see certain opportunities that have been missed when it comes to this connection they will see uh, additional uh, circumstances or will be reminded of certain events that they didn't pay attention to. You know, like when you get emotional, especially if you get angry or upset or jealous or whatever the negative emotion is, you oftentimes forget about the good things that happened. Or it can be the other way around, of course. You can be wearing pink glasses and forget that this person let you down multiple times, right? Because you were so charmed by the you know those good moments those romantic moments right it's important to have a more objective look on things and that's what this uh moon is helping well, literally quite literally <laughs> that's what the moon is helping see helping divine feminine see during this time and the reason for that whether you're gonna see this additional layer of the positive or the negative um the reason is not to dwell on that past it's more to uh, keep this information in mind when you're building for the future depending on what you see of course right show that wisdom do not be just um, judging based on the immediate things you see whether it's good or bad see the bigger picture right and uh, establish your next steps or your emotional boundaries based on that whether they need to be opened up or on the opposite, uh, more boundaries need to be built. And for the masculines, we see Ace of Cups clarified by Page of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I love it. I love the dance. I love this kind of, uh, in both of them, notice that. <laughs> Childhood innocence and uh, desire, you know, this excitement, like this new love, a new mm, realization of love that makes things exciting, that makes masculines want to dance, want to write poems, uh, want to shout out about their love on the rooftops. You know, it's this inspirational. This is what it's making them excited. I, with the orange in both of this, I also see the sacral chakra activation, right? So maybe um, sexual energy on the rise as a result. Uh, but yeah, pretty much this is a time when... Um, a lot of fears are falling away of the connection of, uh, you know, this interaction between the twins of kind of like, it's, it's between, oh my God, I've done so many things wrong. I'm not sure this can be reconciled. And, oh my God, I'm afraid that I'm going to lose myself in this relationship because I have so much love for this person. Right? So it's kind of like, um, going from those any of those extremes to more like okay i can see how this is gonna work out i'm excited to see what comes next this is like this both of these cards are about like the beginner energy or the student energy it's like wow i have no idea what this is because i've never experienced anything like this before but i'm excited to see what's next 
to see how this is gonna unfold. Okay, now we're gonna get some guidance from the Beyond Illumure deck. Guidance for Divine Feminines, first of all. It's a big deck, so a little bit hard to shuffle, but I love it. I should use it more often. What is the guidance for Divine Feminines during this time? Water, the overflow, wow, yeah. Considering this is full moon in a water sign, very much kind of on the nose, but we'll read about it. And uh, as I was mentioning, there's a number of water-related rituals you can do. You can Google them, of course. You can also, uh, like the obvious option, of course, through bathing or showering, you can set your intentions, what you're cleansing, what you want to leave behind. It can be swimming in the body of water as well it can also be about finding your way or getting this cleansed uh vision of something right and then you can explore like develop from there and of course you can also google some of the rituals but whatever has an association for you of letting go or releasing things clearing space clearing energy and you know doing that with water any and all will work. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So the keywords are abundance, non-attachment, the paradigm of no scarcity, allowing financial and energetic gifts to flow through and create more. So let's see what the divination... Oh, they don't have the divination meaning. Okay, that's fine. The being in the picture has many hands and yet still the water is allowed to fall through her fingers. It blesses her in the moments it touches her radiant skin and then continues on its journey. Her heart is also overflowing with love. Her eyes are filled with tears. She allows what comes through to move her without control. She gracefully allows whatever she is feeling to be expressed as she does and as she does so, she radiates so much light into the world. Yeah, so exactly what we saw was the full card here. Beautiful, I love it. Also has a sigil here. If you're doing any rituals with sigil, then this is this sigil for the water card. Okay, let's see what we have with the masquerades now. This is the guidance for divine masculines during this time. Okay, we get two cards. The Violet Flame and Air. Very interesting. We got an element card for each of the twins. And I haven't gotten them in a long time. So I'm going to start with that. It's number 13, by the way. So water was 12. This one is 13. And of course, water is a feminine energy, whereas air is masculine. Paradigm shift. Keywords are an innovative way of existing. New Earth energies, inspiring others, fresh air, flying higher than you have before, more expensive perspectives, consciousness shift. An expensive being holds a tiny heart-shaped seedling. When the foundations we build on come from a place of love over fear, we will see huge positive changes in the world. We can start with ourselves. Yes, very good place to start. The themes are communication, sharing wisdom, the breath of life, movement, faith, wind helpers, intention, inspiration, change. Oh my god, the movement, movement association, and we just saw this dancing ladies. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So maybe for the masculines, another good idea uh, in terms of rituals would be connected with dance or sports or whatever movement kind of movement that you prefer and this is the sigil for the air element if you're doing a ritual with a sigil the other card is the violet flame number 52 let's see the keywords are your psychic toolkit recentering practices deepening your energetic awareness clearing your aura health energetic boundaries which is what i was just talking about 
protection, removing trauma from your field, maintaining a high vibration, rebalancing after times of raised frequency. Your sensitivity will be heightening, so it may be harder to spend time in places with frantic activity. You may feel disoriented, have emotional ups and downs, and even physical symptoms. Daily practices for recentering will allow you to drop into yourself and be present and still, away from busy mind chatter and distractions. There are so many ways to meditate, so experiment and find something that works for you. There is no way to do it wrong. Yoga, qigong, painting, walking are just a few examples. We can learn to protect and maintain the energy we cultivate in ourselves, not from fear, but through a healthy awareness of what is ours and what is the energy of others. As we expand our consciousness, our empathy, empathy may increase. Maintaining energetic sovereignty will allow for heartfelt exchanges with healthy boundaries. Just as we keep our body fit and healthy, it is good to ensure our energy field is free from anything that no longer serves us. We all experience some level of trauma as we go through life. The effects can stay in our aura and if unaddressed, may influence our physical or emotional well-being. There are many ways to clear your energy field. Seeing an energetic healer Learning clearing methods you can do yourself can be so helpful when you feel dense, heavy, triggered, sluggish, or down. Being able to kickstart a positive vibration so you can regain perspective can be the key to flowing through situations that seem overwhelming or insurmountable. Work with the violet flame to transmute anything that is not for your highest good into love. The flame is simple to visualize and a powerful tool that can be used by anyone beautiful. There's also a divinatory meaning. Consider a psychic toolkit. Do you have a range of accessible go-to practices for recentering, cleansing your aura and protecting your energy? An exercise routine for psychic fitness will help your aura strong and resilient. It will keep your aura strong and resilient, your energy sovereign and your vibration high. Maintaining clear and vibrant energy will also help you see through illusions that may be blocking or disorienting you. Bring the violet flame into your meditation and self-care practices to gracefully balance up to heightened energy levels. All right, I think, I think this is it for this part of the reading. And now let's get one of the cards from the self-compassion deck. Only human. I don't remember whether I heard this one, but we'll take it. Why not? <laughs> I'll take two because it's a special reading, right? And I didn't get one yesterday because I was doing the masculine messages. One of them is called Only Human. Consider one of your heroes or role models. What three things do you have in common with them as a human being? So that's like not to idealize your heroes, that sort of idea. <laughs> um, common humanity. Do you suffer sometimes? Want to be happy, but don't always know how to make that happen? Congratulations. You've just discovered you have something in common with every other person across the world and across history. Okay. I hope this was a helpful reading for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you all and I will be back with more readings very, very soon. Bye everyone.